The close front rounded vowel, or high front rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound, used in some spoken languages. Acoustically it is a close front central rounded vowel. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is Y, and the equivalent X Sampa symbol is Y. Across many languages, it is most commonly represented orthographically as U diaresis in German, Turkish, and Basque, or Y, but also as U in French and a few other Romance languages, and also in Dutch and the Kernuic Kemen standard of Cornish, U, U in the romanization of various Asian languages. In Hungarian, for the long duration version, the short version is the U diaresis found in other European alphabets, or U in Cyrillic based writing systems such as that for Chechen. Short, y, and long, y, occurred in pre-modern Greek. In the Attic and Ionic dialects of ancient Greek, front, y, y, developed by fronting from back, u, u, around the 6th to 7th century BC. A little later, the diphthong, y, when not before another vowel monophthongized and merged with long, y. In Koine Greek, the diphthong, oi, changed to, y, likely through the intermediate stages, oi, and, o stroke. Through vowel shortening in Koine Greek, long, y, merged with short, y. Later, y, unrounded to, i, yielding the pronunciation of modern Greek. For more information, see the articles on ancient Greek and Koine Greek phonology. The close front rounded vowel is the vocalic equivalent of the labialized palatal approximant. The two are almost identical featurally. Y alternates with in certain languages, such as French, and in the diphthongs of some languages, y, with the non-syllabic diacritic and are used in different transcription systems to represent the same sound. In most languages, this rounded vowel is pronounced with compressed lips exolabial. However, in a few cases the lips are protruded endolabial. Topic. Close front compressed vowel The close front compressed vowel is typically transcribed in IPA simply as Y, and that is the convention used in this article. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as I, B simultaneous I and labial compression or I, I modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter Y as an ad hoc symbol, though technically spread means unrounded. Topic. Features Its vowel height is close, also known as high, which means the tongue is positioned as close as possible to the roof of the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Topic. Occurrence Note, because front rounded vowels are assumed to have compression, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some of the following may actually have protrusion. Topic. Close front protruded vowel Catford notes that most languages with rounded front and back vowels use distinct types of labialization, protruded back vowels and compressed front vowels. However, a few languages, such as Scandinavian ones, have protruded front vowels. One of these, Swedish, even contrasts the two types of rounding in front vowels see near close near front rounded vowel, with Swedish examples of both types of rounding. As there are no diacritics in the IPA to distinguish protruded and compressed rounding, an old diacritic for labialization, will be used here as an ad hoc symbol for protruded front vowels. Another possible transcription is Y or I a close front vowel modified by endolabialization, but this could be misread as a diphthong. Acoustically, this sound is between the more typical compressed close front vowel Y and the unrounded close front vowel I. Topic. Features 
Its vowel height is close, also known as high, which means the tongue is positioned as close as possible to the roof of the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Occurrence See also Near close near front protruded vowel Close central protruded vowel Index of phonetics articles Notes <laughs>